Hello guys, welcome back to more Atomic Heart. In the last one, I defeated the first boss, this guy right here. It's a mannequin robot looking thingy that can shoot lasers out of his eyes. So that's pretty cool. And right now our objective is to look for Victor. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Yeah, okay. I was trying to do that, but I sort of failed. Whoops. So close. One more time. Okay, so I noticed that when you click one, it goes backwards. Click it again, it goes counterclockwise. Shoot. What? And that's how you hack, ladies and gentlemen. It worked. <laughs> A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Hi, what's up, camera? How's it going? Don't mind me, just grab some stuff. Got some shotgun shells. What are you, some sort of fridge? will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? No, not at all. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, and I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies, and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. 
Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grow my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Yeah, I don't want any horny robots on me. I'm good on that department. Unless you look like one of those, you know, those mannequins from the beginning. Now that, I prefer. If you look like that, go on ahead. Do whatever you want to me. But if you're just a fridge, yeah, I'm good. Okay, so now that fridge is going to act as our upgrade thing, our uh, crafting thing. Whatever we can do with that thing. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They have no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Take the L. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. I can throw stuff? That's one. Game saved. Why? Why did you save now? Can I grab this? No? How do I grab throwable objects? Is it like a brick or a bottle? Telekinetic throw. To pick up an item, hold it and then release RB to throw it and then hold it. Wait, what? Hold on. Like this? <gasps> oh my god. Where's the camera? Oh, that's the camera. Okay, got distracted. That was a weak throw. I can do much better than that. What? Why did you do that? Is there something wrong with my controller? Because lately it's been like doing random inputs on its own and I'm not pressing a thing. I'm not sure why I did that. Uh, can I grab something else? You. No? Okay. You. Uh. Don't look at me. Oh, you saw me. That's unfortunate. I expected more subtlety from a professional such as yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those times. Hey, what's up? Now you're dead. God damn it. Take the L. Who else needs to take the L? Oh, some enemies over there. Hi there. You saw me. Well, guess what? I got a gun. Hold on. I got a. I. I got a gun. Two shots. Not bad. Nice, you can scan all the stuff that you can search through. Makes it a lot more easier. It would be nice if the blue highlight stays on for a couple seconds so, you know, you don't have to do it again. It's kind of weird how only one corner doesn't open, does it? Okay, never mind, it does. It kind of looks like it doesn't sometimes. 
All right, got all that. A little knickknacks, nice. Aha. You? You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. Man, I'm real Russia lover. I'm a real Russia lover of 445. That'll be his username, I bet. You know, I feel like I'm the only person that doesn't have like an like a an embarrassing name for a username or an email. It's always been like my name and numbers. Cause at first, my actual like for no no actually that's a lie. I was gonna say my first email was from school, but that wasn't until middle school, or I mean high school I think. Can't actually remember when, but when I was a kid, I made my own Google account for YouTube, and I'm pretty sure it was just my name and some numbers and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure. I think so. I don't know. I just can't remember ever having like an embarrassing username of some sort or an embarrassing email. And then here are all these stories online where someone's like, I have this username. And I go, oh, God damn it. Shut the hell up. All right, no one around me. I'm fine. Chest time. What you got for me? Can I heal? Damn, still nothing to heal with, huh? And I searched like two whole rooms. Oh, look at that. Can I jump? Can I go up there? Oh, you can make it. Here, I'll just continue for now and hopefully I'll find some sort of health. Here we go, got a convenient shortcut. I recognize this song, but I forgot the name. Surely one of you guys in the comments will remind me what it's called. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Okay, so how do I solve this? Passive security relay. Unlock the passive security relay's functionality by putting the magnet, magnetic fluxes in the correct order. All right, just gotta look at the thing here. There's a bunch of positives. There's a couple of negatives. And I just gotta connect them somehow. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. That was all random. I have no idea how I did that. I had no clue at all. But I did it somehow. So yay for me. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Ah. 
I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Damn, I'm such an asshole. I love it. To open the door, press Y and use shock on its lintel magnets. Uh, I'm out of electricity. What do we do now? There we go. Combat shock. Use shock on enemies to stop them in the tracks or even kill them. Okay, resistant to, contents, vulnerable to. Hey, you see me. Haha, <laughs> got you. Okay, I can do a sneak attack on the last one. He has no idea where I am. Somehow, I didn't hear the other two fighting me. Alright, she's gonna sneak right behind. Don't turn around! Oh, you screwed it up! And I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm back to life. And you're dead. Gotcha. They say there's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. The Monday begins on Saturday, but I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, oh, dodge that. Polarization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th. Oh, that's an insta kill. That was an insta kill, but the other one killed me. Press A to get revenge. That's funny. Okay, I'm gonna try to shock it and see what happens. It does nothing. I guess it should go this way. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. Any secrets? Got a box. Come on, move. And I got hit. Never mind. To emerge from the Palmer, use B. Do I got an infinite like breathing air in this water? Is this water? Or some sort of like similar liquid? Oh, hey guys. Reboot the control system to reactivate the lights. 
How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. Oh, back here. What's up, guys? Hey there, fridge. He's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Fuck, so where's the schematics of yours? Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. We, we didn't make it. It wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. Yeah, what about it? Nothing new. Oh, look at that. Is that the combination? All right, cool. Let's do that. Dude, that works. Would it be nice if I could bring it with me so I don't have to memorize it? But I think I should handle it. Okay, it looked like it was this one. All right, finally got it. Nice. What's this? I hope this works. Moving. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your we ticket. We are ready to depart. Sorry, no Ten, ticket. Nine, eight, seven, six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Now this is gonna be epic. Whoa, that's so cool. Look at oh whoa. Is that oh they are shit Do it again. careful there's a gap up ahead i see it i'm gonna die can't move oh so close to death can i grab this i can oh my god it's yellow i can grab yellow edges i did not know that would have been nice for the game to just, like, you know, tell me outright, like, hey, by the way, you can climb on this stuff. Overcoming vertical obstacles. Tap A and near a pipe or similar object to latch on and start moving up or down it. Yep, that didn't work. Oh my Shit. god. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. I bet. I wouldn't survive without him. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Charles. That 
was a Barav, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Baravs can drill through even the hardest minerals. And I'm dead. Baravs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Here we go. I was supposed to go this way. I did not see this hole. Alright, gotta search around the building. Gotta find some useful stuff. And I'm done. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels? That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Oh no, oh no. That was a close one. Hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. How do I open the door? There's no electricity. Oh no. Ooh, look at that. KS twenty three electromagnetic what? Thing with Jiggy. Ooh, a laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making- Honey, you're back! What took you so long? I was so lonely. I'm back! Uh -huh. Like, I need to go through a laser wall. Preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. You got a mouth? Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh! So brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. Yeah. I survived. Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! 
the hell are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Hey, freeze! Lockdown in contact. Ah, great. Hey there, what's up? Shock. Haha, <laughs> powerful. Robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. What's this thing here? Okay, let's see here. What does that say? Al J workshop. Hot workshop. I can't go in there. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? This is the famous Peck 4 power generator. Indeed it is. The birch tree Peck 4 is a vegetative polymer based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. They're in the wall! Can't you hear them? Scurrying around! I'm scared! I'm really scared of them! You've got nothing to be scared of, you're dead. Scared of what? The robots? Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... <clears throat> His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. <clears throat> All right, got another lock. Hey, what's up, buddy? Can you move a sec? Thank you. What is that? I got a tiny pistol. Oh, look at that tiny pistol. Anything else? What's that saying? Oh, it's a ball. Found so, it. So, do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm hmm. Good to know. It's not like a bomb or anything like that. Can I attach this thing? What does that do? Here, give me the ball. Where'd it go? Mm. 
Ah, okay, here we go. Use it to unlock specific the things. Is going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. Oh, wrong spot. I should have not done that. like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Okay, got another little upgrade piece. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name. Okay, that was a hard fall. Oh no. People often ask me. It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Oh, that thing up there? <laughs> oh, I get it now. Oh, I made it. Nice. What's that? Well, what do we have here? A circle moon canister. What is that for? So you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you oh know, no. I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be... This is the Lunar. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil. I've got one. Come here. It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. 
Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. Oh wow, this whole room is full of that Palmer stuff. Now, where do I go? Okay, go through here. Uh, come on. Make it. Ah. Oh, man, I could have died. Not. What is that? Electro blueprint unlocked. That shit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. You got a moon thingy? There it is. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, won't count on it. I Angry? Yes, yes, scold me. Yeah, be quiet now, please. And here's the last one. Obviously the last canister has to be lodged deep in the universe's quantum asshole. Does this stuff happen to everyone or just me? I wanna guess maybe just me, cause I'm special. And down here, oh fall damage, that hurts. I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. Whew, this place is huge. Heads up, visit the Nora repair vendor often and don't forget to learn active skills and upgrade your weapons to complete missions as efficiently as possible. As efficiently as possible. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Crispy critters! They're most certainly crispy major. Oh, Shut whoa, whoa. No time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seat bank vault. container integrity compromised. Gotta run. I gotta skedaddle. That's not gonna work. What the hell is that thing? It's a little flamethrower. Oh my gosh, so many on my ass.
Let me heal for a little bit. Come on. <laughs> okay. That was funny. Come down here. Come down. Come on. Oh, by the way, did I mention that I'm not really good at stealth? So I'm probably just gonna loot and shoot everything. Oh no. Alright, hold on. Now that I saved, I feel like this is a good place to end it there. Okay, well, I'm gonna end right here. Hope you enjoyed watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content like this. I'll continue more Tommy Hart next one. See you then. Bye!